The Israeli Defense Force says it is stepping up attacks on Gaza ahead of a ground offensive. Spokesman Daniel Hagari told reporters the goal was to minimize the dangers their troops will face in the next stages of the war. CBS's Roxana Saberi is in Tel Aviv. Roxana. Adriana, Israel's military has struck dozens of buildings in the northern Gaza Strip as it prepares for what it has called the next stages of war. But many people here worry their families and friends still held captive by Hamas will be caught in the crossfire. Don't be afraid, these Israelis sing in Tel Aviv as they long for their loved ones, missing or held hostage by Hamas for two weeks. Bring them <laughs> Everybody loved her. She was always happy. Eli Cohen says the militants captured his 27-year-old niece, Engbar Hyman, at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. Altogether, four terrorists, they were kidnapping her into Gaza Strip. Last night, two Israeli-American hostages were released. Does that give you hope? Yes, it gives me hope because we see that there are some negotiations through Qatar. And we see that Hamas understands that he needs to uh, let people go. After a brief pause yesterday, Israel announced it's stepping up its bombardment of Gaza starting today and says it finalized plans to expand its operations, signs of a much-anticipated ground incursion, which could complicate the return of more hostages. And along Israel's northern border with Lebanon, Israeli forces again exchanged fire with Hezbollah, the powerful Iran-backed militia there. An Israeli-American reserve soldier was killed in the skirmishes. Since Hamas's brutal attacks here, Israel says up to 200 Israelis are still unaccounted for, and around 300 remains have yet to be identified. The hardest cases come to the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Tel Aviv, where gurney after gurney carry bodies mutilated, riddled with bullets, and charred beyond recognition. Some of the cases came as a mass of charcoal, and some of the cases, when you open the bag, we have only so parts of bones. Every day, more bodies are brought here for identification. They're bodies of adults, bodies of children. They're brought inside where samples are taken. Samples like bits of bones. You extract DNA from this. Yes. Teeth. To see if it matches a family member. Yes. Or DNA that hasn't already degraded any clues these experts can find. Our job is to try and relieve the pain of the families. To help them identify and then bury their loved ones. Yes, so they could get sort of a closure and would be able to start again. We didn't hear from him. The family of Hananyo Blanca is still looking for their closure. The 42-year-old is missing, his car left behind at the music festival, his friends among the estimated 260 people slaughtered there by Hamas. You just want closure. You want answers. Yes. The unknown is horrible. If he's dead or if he's alive, it's terrible. Some of the missing and kidnapped hostages were wounded or sick. And Adriana, as each day passes, their families grow more concerned they're not getting the care they need. Roxana Saveri, thank you.